Hello everyone and welcome. Casey here with Modern Witch Doctor. So today's video is going to be on some really common plants that you probably have growing in your yard as we speak that can be used for medical and edible purposes. Many of these plants are known to most people or considered invasive and their amazing properties are not usually recognized. Um, right now we are going into fall very soon and Mother Earth is still providing an abundance of food and medicine. So we are going to kick this one off with plantain. So this right here with these seeds is the plantain. And most people have seen and know this plant very well. This is one of my favorite plants to work with as an herbalist. And I truly love everything about this plant. So plantain has some really amazing benefits. Um, to start with, it is edible. Now, the young leaves are usually what is eaten because as the plant matures, the um, fibrous material on the stems become very chewy and tough. Plantain is amazing for treating um, wounds on the skin. Whenever I use plantain in a salve, it is a drawing salve, which means that it will draw out splinters, slivers, and infections. This is also one of its main purposes that natives used to use it for as a drawing salve for snake venom. Um, it's also used a lot in chest infections. It's able to help relieve mucus and phlegm from the lungs. So this plant has a lot of amazing benefits and I know this is a plant that most people have seen and definitely have in their yard as we speak. So next on our list is going to be turkey tail mushroom. Um, a few years ago, we had to cut down some ash trees due to the ash borer bug. And over the last year or so, I've had an explosion of turkey tail mushroom. Turkey tail has long been used, um, especially in the Americas, as an immune boosting mushroom. Now, most of you know mushrooms have a lot of medical benefits and turkey tail nonetheless is one of the best ones. Turkey tail is able to boost the immune system by improving gut health. It's been used to prevent and treat cancer. And this is just a wonderful, wonderful medicine. Now, it's not considered an edible herb because of its chewy, tough texture, but it's absolutely an amazing medicine. So I'm gonna give you guys a uh, brief view of what this looks like. So here's our turkey tail mushroom. And as you can see, this is a very detailed, brightly colored mushroom. And they do come in some different varieties of colors but they grow as this um, shelf kind of mushroom. And one of the easy ways to determine what a true turkey tail is, if I can get a little piece here, these tiny holes are an indicator of a true turkey tail. There is a false one, but it will have gills. Now, with that being said, never ever ingest, ingest a mushroom unless you are 100% sure of its identification. Let's move on. All right, guys. So next on our list is going to be wild grape. This is the wild grape vine. This is a climbing vine. So you're going to find this growing up trees, bushes, possibly houses. Um, it's hard to say climbing vines will really grow anywhere. Um, these are very, very common throughout the United States, especially on the East Coast. There are a few varieties of wild grapes, but they are all edible. Um, once again, never ever ingest anything unless you are 100% sure, but these are very easy to identify. Now, I will give you a little close-up of how these grow. Wild grapes are not usually eaten um, like domestic grapes. They have a very sour, bitter taste but they are wonderful to make jellies with or to use in culinary dishes. Um, this is a very good wild edible. So I'm gonna give you guys a close up of what they look like growing. So look at all these amazing grapes. And as you can see, they really are growing everywhere. Now, of course, with all um, fruits and berries, it's usually a struggle to get there before the birds. But this is a wonderful, wonderful wild edible. So the next plant, I actually have seen two good plants, one next to the other. Um, the first one I'm gonna show you is called wood ear mushroom. 
Now we are only about 20 feet away from the wild grapevine and I've already found three or four other medical and edible plants between there and here. Um, this is going to be the wood ear mushroom and although wood ear looks pretty disgusting, it does look like a ear, which is where it gets it na its name, it is an edible mushroom. So here's our wood ear mushroom and these have started to dry up so as you see they are not flexible anymore but when these are fresh they are quite delicious and they actually go all the way up the tree now next to this we find the pokeberry plant and many of you know pokeberry as being a poisonous plant but this plant actually um, has a lot of good value. It was used in making primitive dyes, which is one reason the berries will sty uh, dye your hands. And some good old timers that know how to cook this plant right um, still enjoy cooking poke leaves. So this is another excellent plant. Um, I do advise, however, if you do not know what you're doing with the pokeweed plant, to just leave it be. So next on the list is going to be two of my all-time favorite plants. Behind me, as you can see, this beautiful array of Mother Earth's colors. We have these beautiful purple flowers and then the orange from the jewelweed. So the orange flowered plant, which I will give you a close-up of both of these, is the jewelweed plant. Many of you know this is my favorite plant. I work a lot with this plant. Um, it's actually a poison ivy treatment, preventative, anti-itch herb. It helps psoriasis. This plant does many things. Um, the seeds are considered touch-me-nots because they explode when you touch them, but you can actually eat them. So the children enjoy popping jewelweed seeds into their mouth and they taste actually much like walnuts. So jewelweed is a very, very beneficial plant. And then we have the beautiful purple plant, which is ironweed. Ironweed is used as a digestive aid. It can be used as a blood cleanse and it's known throughout the ages as a woman's herb. It, the Native Americans used to use it for helping pain and childbirth. And nowadays it's used to help um, regulate menstruation and control mood swings, effects of um, you know, our, our monthly cycle. So these are both wonderful, beautiful plants that as you see, provide a lot of life. There's butterflies, dragonflies, all kinds of things, bumblebees that visit these plants. So we will move on to the next. So next on the list is going to be one of my favorite plants, which is the burdock plant. So these little burrs and pointy flowers, which I will give you guys a picture of it at the top. Um, these plants are known very well to equestrians and so forth, but this plant is an excellent, excellent blood cleanse. It is able to purify your liver, purify your lymph glands. It's an excellent immune boosting plant. And it has a lot of other benefits. You can also eat the root. So in Chinese culture, it's, it's um, considered a sacred plant. It's incorporated in a lot of their cuisines. So this is a really common, wonderful, um, edible and medical. Next on our list, everyone, is puffball mushrooms. So puffball mushrooms, even though this one really isn't a very good one, it's a little bit um, mature and probably already um, in its last stages, but these mushrooms are very edible and I will show you here. They don't have much of a stem and they look much like a loaf of bread. And you can actually slice these up and fry them as if you would a portobello mushroom. So these are an excellent, excellent edible. Um, I don't know of any medical properties of puffball, but once again, mushrooms prove to be amazing medicine, so it really wouldn't surprise me. So last on our list, everyone, is gonna be dandelion. Dandelion, of course, is a very common plant. Everyone knows what this plant looks like. Um, I actually posted the other day a list of dandelion root benefits, which it's a wonderful, wonderful um, cleansing herb. It, it's, a, it's a diuretic. It's able to cleanse your system, your liver, but you can also eat the green, greens and the blooms. So I have actually even seen dandelion greens being sold at Wegmans, which cracks me up. So it's a nutritional plant. You can cook them as greens. You can add them to salads. Um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful plant. So I'm gonna give you a view of what this beautiful dandelion looks like. 
So here we have some really beautiful dandelion greens growing next to the creek here. So I really hope that all of you have enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you a little glimpse at some of the special plants that you have growing in your yard. Um, I really think that a lot of the weeds and invasive plants that are underappreciated are there screaming to us, look, we're here to help you. We are coming in abundance to provide for you. Um, this is, is a concept that is really severely underrecognized in today's world. So take advantage, look around your yard, appreciate these plants, even if you're somebody that is not going to use them for medical or edible purposes, it's always good to know the plants in your region. So I hope everyone has a good night and we'll see you again soon. Bye.